0701. It is fall now, but it's never too soon to think about winter. I guess we have to. In today's Home Improvement brought to you by Aero Service Team, we welcome Greg Zanker from Northern Plains Heating and Air. Thank you so much for being here, Greg. Thank you for having me. Greg's here to talk about how to winterize your home or prepare for it and your property, which is so important this time of year. That's right, Greg. So uh, tell us, uh, we should start prepping for, for winter coming now. And so uh, tell me, I learned the hard way last year of why you need to do this, but <laughs> can you tell the people out there why it's important to disconnect garden items prior to winter? Well, of course, you know, and it's kind of sad we're talking about winter around the corner when we just had a hundred degree days a couple <laughs> weeks ago, but that's the, that's the seasonality that we live in. And it's very important to, to disconnect your garden hoses from your, uh, from your outside hydrants um, because those will freeze and break on a, on a quick notice. Uh, it, frost is coming around the corner. I mean, um, and when you find out that those are uh, not broken is when you turn them on in the spring to wash your car. The other thing you need to be careful of is make sure you blow out your underground sprinkler lines. So that way, um, again, those don't freeze and break on you and, and create more of a, a havoc outside or inside your home. Did in the you spring. forget to do that, Michael? Well, for me, it was the garden hose because uh -huh. I'm an avid car washer, and oh. even just one night, it yeah. dipped down below freezing, and I went out and my hose was just a frozen oh, no. crackling mess. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Okay, well I know another one of your tips, Greg, is another household item people should winterize are furnace filters and humidifier pads. Can you explain what those are even? Yeah, so by everybody's furnace down, what we call the return duct, which pulls the air from the house before it goes to the supply of going through your, your uh, heat exchanger or your cooling coil is a filter. And that filter we recommend to be changed uh, spring and fall for sure. Uh, more frequently if it's not a, a high quality filter. Um, and the other thing is, is in the winter time, we, we, it, things dry out. Your house is going to dry out and you should have a humidifier in your home to, to create that. The humidity that we take out in the, in the summer, we want to put back in the, in the winter time and that pad should be changed too. So we don't get scale up or build up on, the, on those humidifier pads. Mm, always a little bit of maintenance to do. Uh, Greg, also, what should we be checking in, um, especially with our furnaces and our garages? Well, if you have a heater in your garage and your furnace, you should always call a professional to make sure that those units are running as most efficient as possible. Um, and you shouldn't, just, you shouldn't just do this in a spring or fall scenario. You should check your, your units throughout the winter and throughout the summer to make sure you don't have water dripping from uh, a water heater or water inadvertently coming from your coil of your furnace or the plenum of your furnace. But we have many qualified techs at Northern Plains Heating and Air and, Plum and Plumbing that can help you get through that, those winterization and, and spring um, mm -hmm. startups. Yeah, and you kind of mentioned um, it can be important to call a professional for some mm -hmm. of this. Um, why do you advise, especially people call a professional, to check that furnace? Well, there's electrical component. It depends on what kind of furnace you have. Um, some of the older ones are a little bit easier to, to handle, but the newer stuff all has electrical components, flame sensors, igniters, um, you, have, you have multiple different voltages within your furnace, and you've got to have the right tools to, to verify that the gas pressures are correct and your burners are running um, as efficient as possible. Mm -hmm. Flame sensors and igniters, definitely a professional. Yeah, <laughs> call a professional. Thank you so much, Greg. Uh, great tips here. You know, it's, I can't believe we're talking about it already, like we said, but are you already getting the calls to winterize the home and have help with that? Uh, yeah, ironically, we call the, this time of year our, our shoulder season. So um, uh, today we'll get some air conditioning calls and next week, probably Tuesday or Wednesday by looking at the, the futures, uh, we'll get some no heat calls in the morning. Some furnaces didn't start <laughs> or something, but hey, uh, our most important job is to make sure everybody's comfortable within their home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so, well, Greg, thank you so much for coming on the show today. And thank you to the Aero Service team. This has been Home Improvement. For more information, check out northern-planes.com uh, or follow them on Facebook at MPPLUM Heat Air or the old-fashioned way, call them up 701-222-2155. All right. Great tips already. Welcome.